Oh yeah, there's this big fat man that's uh, kind of riding a, a chair. I thought that was something you don't see every day. Now today I have some very spicy content for you guys. If you didn't already know, I am probably in the top 10 world's greatest Total War players of all time. So get ready to watch the most perfect campaign in your entire life. All right, first things first, I've got to get this off my chest. If you don't like min-maxing, then this is just not going to be the video for you. I have become a min-maxing expert, and uh, I make zero mistakes throughout this campaign. So we're going to play as the Skaven, which are these, like, little rat people. Seems like everyone is very excited for these guys. Oh, damn, that is pretty cool. I don't know what that's from. Is it? Did the elves have that? The elves have control of that, I think. These are clearly the most attractive species, though. People talk about the dark elves, and I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm all about that Skaven fam. I do want to admit I had to re-record this uh, intro cutscene because I had the mouse right in the middle of the screen, and I knew people would probably hunt me down and kill me for that simple mistake. I mean, I'm over here making fun of entire countries. Nobody seems to care. But if I were to do something like that, I don't think anyone would forgive me. All right, this map is absolutely beautiful. It'll be perfect for uh, my conquering skills. We should easily be able to win this campaign. I I'm gonna say within the first 30 turns. So, uh, being the total war expert that I am, um, I am totally not reading this right now. I am totally not even thinking about reading this. So I just kind of hit the check mark. Yep, don't need that. One thing I love about Warhammer 2 already though is the like whole archipelago feel. That's just that's just my shit. Like I love stuff like this. I really like this little harbor city or fort or whatever it is. I want to take that shit over. So here's our technology tree. Just kind of figuring out what's best for my strategies. I took a good maybe 10-15 minutes just trying to really hone in on, on the best tactical decision here. So Skaven have this like corruption thing. I didn't really have to deal with it too much. Well, not that I didn't have to, it's just that I didn't know what was going on. But their problem is food. Like they're trying to find as much food as possible. And as far as what I've learned, that's all I pretty much know. Looks like we're taxing our rats quite a bit. I like it. As well as this settlement is growing by 28. So I took way too long just trying to figure out a name for my capital settlement and this was the best thing I could come up with. Yep. I don't know, the map kind of reminded me of Brazil, so that's that's just what I went with. So don't be alarmed, I was using a little advisor for this gameplay just to, you know, hopefully fill you guys in on, on how to play this game because I, I totally knew how to play. Although it did seem a little bit weird that I was taking advice from this man with a scar across his face. I mean, he's clearly made poor life choices in the past. So I found this shipwreck. I was trying to figure out how to get to that, but um, yeah, never figured that out. I built myself a lair, which means I actually completed a mission successfully. So I noticed the lizard men were to the north of me, so I really wanted to stay out of their whole area. So I think I get some sort of treaty with them at some point. Herb gatherer. Yep, I like herb. Let's go after that. It's time for us to take over our first settlement. I hope, at least, we're gonna take it from these elvish people. I mean, I, I was pretty sure I could do this with a quarter of the army I had right there, but, um, you know, just to kind of show off the mechanics, I decided to take them all in. That was actually one of the best parts, is, uh, you know, Surreal Beliefs and Alex the Rambler were sitting next to me, and uh, they were, you know, constantly asking for advice. Just know if they say anything, I was totally not constantly asking questions the entire time. Don't believe their lies, it's not true. So these little rat dudes are pretty cool. They're not like the strongest, especially like the slave, the slave rat guys. I think that's them. But there was a lot of them, so that helped a lot. Numbers was on our side, boys, so that was that was good. So as you can see, I'm going to begin to min-max uh, right here. That's usually the first strategy I like to go for in battle. So I decided to play on uh, normal speed because I was confident enough to know that I was going to make zero mistakes um, throughout this entire video. That's why it might look like I'm just totally sending my guys in blindly as if I don't know what I'm doing, but trust me, I know what I'm doing. So yeah, these guys are like shooting green flames. I'm not exactly sure if those are green flames. Also, if you see some of that, uh, friendly fire, that was all part of the plan. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to experiment with uh, the game's capabilities. As you can see, our rats are just dominating the fight right now. Oh, looks like there's some farmland back there. Oh, are we just messing with farm people? Damn, these rats are a bunch of assholes. Holy shit. We're attacking a bunch of poor elvish farmers. That's a messed up move. So here's like my king rat or my general or something like that. I just kind of wanted to see how much damage he would do. He like jumps up and just body slams people. Yeah, there, there you go. That doesn't seem to be the most optimal technique to kill elves, but um, you know, you can do whatever you want. So already the elves are beginning to retreat. Of course they are. I, I knew we were going to be fine in this battle. Don't mind this close. They were talking about how that might or might not be something that's just wrong with the builds. 
it wasn't a close victory. It was pretty one-sided, as you could see. It looks like we also captured 58 elves. That's kind of cool. We gotta enslave somebody in this game, right? I mean, we can't always just enslave our own species. Our food levels are still looking good, even though it's only been like two or three turns. We've got one skill point, and I'm trying to figure out exactly uh, what any of these things do. Tail weapon sounds very strange, so let's go with that one. I mean, as rats, we kind of have a biological advantage. It's a whole nother extremity that's rearing out from the back of us. So I wanted to try to recruit another lord just to, you know, see what happens. So there he is with all his glory, looking very attractive. I'm not sure if that's money or not. 2,000. If we're making 2,000 anything on the first, like, couple turns, that's, that's a lot. Clearly, we're doing quite well. So I got word that some of the elves are trying to move to the south for uh, some weird ritual. So we're gonna go after him. Oh yeah, there's this big fat man that's uh, kind of riding a, a chair. I thought that was something you don't see every day. This is about the moment I realized like, oh shit, we definitely don't want to fuck with the lizard man. I really don't want fat levitating dinosaurs to be the end of my rat species. So either Alex or Surreal were trying to tell me to recruit a lot more guys or else I was gonna get my ass kicked. So uh, I listened. It didn't really change the outcome. But y yeah, you'll see. We're looking for a vortex victory, I guess. Complete all rituals. All right, duly noted. I definitely understand how to do that. So once again, this scarred man was attempting to give me advice. I'm I'm not gonna listen to him though. I might end up with a scar across my own face, so stay away from whatever he's trying to tell me. All right, this is the moment when I started to shit myself a little bit. Lizard men were coming down from the north. I don't know if those are scouts or something, but I didn't want to risk anything. Neutral transport ships. Okay, so it looks like they're okay, but still, we're gonna want to start kissing this man's ass, and he's happy with it. All right, he called me a rat spawn. That's all right, I, I hear that all the time. Yeah, it wasn't gonna be down for a military alliance, but a non-aggression pack is, I guess, good enough. I wanna try to get to these islands. Those islands look like they have something really valuable on them. I thought these little ruins in the mountainside were the most badass thing. I, I, I wish I would've discovered them earlier. I guess I was just too busy trying to murder everyone around me. All right, so clearly, I have made a massive mistake. But I figured, you know, it's it's okay. No, I think I'm gonna retreat, actually. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm running. And at this point at the event, I knew we didn't have much time left. So I had to, you know, make a few mistakes, even though I hate making mistakes in this game. So this is about the third time I retreated um, and I'm not gonna be able to retreat with this final army. So uh, yeah, here we go. Their health seems kind of low though. I don't know why I, I did so horribly in this battle. I mean, I didn't do horribly at all. It, everything went really well. And this was about the time both Surreal and Alex the Rambler told me I was gonna get demolished. For a second there though, I really had confidence because it did look like initially, I didn't understand it. It was like, okay, these guys don't look that powerful. They obviously have lower health, so maybe everything's gonna be okay. Then I noticed their reinforcements on the hill. My strategy was just to run at them as fast as possible, kill as many of them as fast as possible, and then hope to regroup by the time the reinforcements come. So let's go ahead and watch once again the uh, body slam of our rat general. Perfect form. Looks like he's been watching a lot of WWF recently. I just realized how many dead rats there are. You notice there's not very many dead elves on the ground, but there's a lot of dead rats. All right, this is uh, starting to be terrifying. This is like the end of Two Towers when Gandalf comes down and yeah, that this is exactly what it looks like. Gandalf is coming with his Riders of Rohan and they're about to make me their bitch. So this is the true power of Calvary. I don't know if <laughs> I was like losing my mind right here when I saw that. From the looks of things, rats don't do very well against horses. I had to really kind of throw out everything I've learned about uh, zoos and animals and stuff to really pound that into my brain after this. It's like watching a water type Pokemon take on a fire type Pokemon. My general seems to be still going strong for the most part in the middle. Oh, okay, maybe not. I didn't see that the Calvary came in hit him in the face. Here's the thing, I knew I still had a chance just by looking at this bar. I thought, I can still definitely do this. No, I'm just kidding, I just put on speed three and took the beating. Decisive defeat, oh my god, wow, that's pretty bad. It didn't seem all that decisive, but um, looking at the numbers, oh yeah, that went horrible. It looks like my rat leader was killed in battle. That was a world event too, Jesus. Whole world's fucking laughing at me. Killed in the battle of Dawn's Light. I, I do like the way they put it though. At least it's a good newspaper headline. So yeah, this is gonna be the final thing I show. I actually lost one more battle, um, and I think I lose that Don's Light Harbor City. Oh, and then I'm forced to auto-resolve this because uh, I have no chance. So thank you so much for your patience, guys. I know this must have been definitely hard to watch. I know how it can be just watching those guys that don't make any mistakes at all, and it's just frustrating because I get it. You want to be able to play the game the way I do. I'm thinking I'll do a few tutorial vids to show off exactly, you know, my strategies and my own 
uh, tactical decision making for Total War. I've got a good three to four hours in the series as a whole, so um, clearly I'm one of the more advanced players. Anyways guys, if you want to see more Total War, hit that like button. That's the best way to show me. Uh, I know a lot of people have wanted me to play Total War, but Warhammer 2 obviously has my interest. It, uh, it looks beautiful, and again, like I said, I like the whole archipelago type island feel. That's, that's, just, that's just my shit. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Big thanks once again to my two big crack papas, Stefan M and Neo. If you want to join these two and be my crack daddies, you can find a link to the Patreon down below.